Earth Signs, welcome to my channel, The Healing Butterfly. I am your intuitive reader, Lady Day. Thank y'all so much for tuning in for the 2023 uh, reading. Short little reading here. Um, <clears throat> the cards have already been shuffled out um, just to save y'all time from sitting here going through eight different decks. Um, only take what resonates for each and every one of you because um, it's still a collective reading. Okay, we're going to start with Taurus, then go to um, Capricorn and then Virgo. We're going to talk about some overall 2023 energy. Then we'll tap into some healing and life purpose energy, uh, some relationship and soulmate energy, and then ending in some information from your spirit, team spirit guides, and a little direction. All right. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. For those looking for personal readings, you can find my information in my bio along with the link to my Etsy shop. All right, let's get into it because I feel like I just need to get right into the situation right now. All right, so we have community for Taurus, okay? This is for Taurus. Between worlds <clears throat> and exchanging gifts. I feel like someone knows that they're going to have to move on, right? And I don't know what move on might mean for you personally. Take it as it resonates. This could be love, right? This could be someone graduating, this could be the fact that I'm I'm finally crossed some type of threshold, right? I now know that I'm ready to commit to this person. I'm now I now know exactly what industry that I want to be in. I know exactly what my next phase, my next step in life is. It's clear to me, but in order to do that, I now have to move to a new state. Because if I want to make it big as an actor, I can't live in Idaho. I need to move to California or New York. It's something like that. Okay, that may not be you. You may not be an actor or anything to that nature. But whatever it is that's going to be that next phase of life, I feel like in order for me to really boss up to the level that I want to, that I see myself, I know I have to move. I know I have to change some things. And this may even be like, I can't hang out with the same people. I can't do the same things. You know, let's say you're getting ready to be a celebrity. No, you can't. And you want to be on a level of a, you know, a Cardi B or Beyonce, or I don't know, you might like Dolly Parton and um, I don't know, Keep Sweat. I don't know. It's just like when you, you want to be one of those people who's, you know, has paparazzi behind you. So no, you have to go through different extremes to be able to go out and just have a regular grocery store day. You know what I mean? A regular walk through the mall day isn't just a regular walk through the mall day for people like Nicki Minaj, people who are known, Obama, whoever, whoever you would, you know, <laughs> look at like that. Because I feel energy of, oh my gosh, Nicki Minaj, or oh my gosh, like I'm not here to say who your favorite people are. <laughs> All right. But back to the um, the energy that I feel. Again, it's just like I know that it's time for me to to move, to change, to make some some arrangements um, in order for me to really take it to that next level. For some of y'all, it may be, you know, becoming engaged or opening your heart, right? Opening your heart to love. I'm feeling this is another storyline that I'm getting. Open myself up to love and to really being with someone like what does that mean i can't live in a single energy i actually have to put some time away if i want to date this person if i see this person in my life as someone who who can be my husband or wife or just my life partner but i spend so much time with friends family and all these other things like i'm not making time for us to grow together that's another thing that i'm feeling whether you have someone or you don't, it may just be the acknowledgement of the way that your life and your schedule is set up. Does it even, you know, open me up to finding love, finding someone who I can, you know, live a life with? All right. Wow. The two of cups falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Wow. Whoa, that hit heavy. Um, don't give up on people you love. So again, this could be you finding that love that passion for something again or for someone again and it's like okay now i know what i need to change in order to make that happen the ego the illusion of being trapped accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness addictions or unhealthy habits again what i was feeling like i know i have to make some changes i'm no longer trapped to the old way the old thought process the old places job whatever that may be the three of wands Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride, the, I'm sorry, pride in the success of your labors and be patient as you decide what's next. I do feel a physical move, though, very strongly with this energy more than any other energy. It's like this opportunity, right? The three of wands is your ships coming in, right? You see that opportunity on, on that ship. 
It's like whatever this is, I know I have to make a change. And it's either a big internal change or externally, I might be physically moving somewhere. And then the strength card, personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger. And I'm also hearing wiser than you knew. So maybe you find yourself in the past, like I was working so hard for something. I should have been working smarter for something or for someone, right? It's also about knowing when to, um, to, I feel like you have a big presence, regardless of how you come in the room or how you're feeling that day. You always make a big presence when you come in the room. But Spirit is asking in 2023, while wow, that's funny, um, 20, sorry, I just seen something, but 2023, um, in this 2023, they're asking you to know when to roar like the lion and when to kind of sit back and allow, I don't want to say the prey, but to allow the rest of those who are in, I don't want to say in competition. I don't know. Maybe you are in competition. Maybe you are looking at people as, as, a, as like, get out my way or, you know, get, get eaten up or get, get out the way type of energy. I don't know, but it's just like, sometimes we just need to sit back and watch some of the things unfold. Sometimes we just need to be the fly on the wall, kind of taking in all the information before we step up or step out or speak up, okay? All right, let's get into your healing energy. Help from above and sexual arts. Just filling into the energy. I don't know if you had like kind of shut off parts of yourself at some point in time maybe like you find yourself being like real just not sexually aroused in certain ways or I almost feel like this sexual arts is like something that I, I think about not something that's going on right now does that make sense you could be between the ages of 27 and 33 or maybe between that time frame you might not be that old at all honestly right but I just feel like there's something between the 27 and the 33 that could be the, the ages of you and your person or that could be the age range or that could be the age that's like around this time frame around these ages it's like a little blase when it comes to like sex or passion or attractiveness it's like I don't know if that's another thing that you're looking to restart is like the want for romance because I feel like it might have been dormant for a long time maybe you've been celibate which is wonderful for whatever reason that you want to be um you know whatever that is I just feel like it's almost like it's starting to bubble up right just like this volcano but I don't know why I'm so cautious that you know is this going to start up another it's almost like this like I know deep down inside like the fire still burns I still got my mojo something is making me feel like I want to find a person I want to live a life with a person I want to have passion again I want to have you know those moments those romantic moments again but the other part of me is wondering whether or not I'm going to go through the turmoil and the heartache and the heartbreak that I did before I think this is the strongest heartbreak energy that I felt of all the signs so far like Taurus, I don't know what happened. I don't know what someone did when you opened up and they might have just stabbed you in the, the the back, the front, the sides. I'm not sure, but it's almost like PTSD when I start thinking of really opening up to someone. And maybe you are someone and maybe I'm triggering those who when you have um, like relations, sex with someone, it's not just like a physical thing. Like maybe you can turn that on and off, but for the most part, you really connect with someone. And that's another reason why maybe you haven't been flirtatious and wanting to date. Um, Spirit is asking for you to to get, hand it over to them. Like I almost feel like whatever it is, this, this anxiety of having my heart broke again, that's kind of another thing that needs to be looked at. And I just feel like it's connect to me. Connect to me is what I keep feeling like, whether that's prayer, meditation, sitting quietly, connecting to a family or friend who's going to allow you to kind of just get it all out because I feel like it's something that I haven't talked about and when I say I I mean your energy Taurus okay I have freedom you're free to do what you choose I have creative expression your soul longs to express itself creatively and I have teaching you inspire young people to learn so I don't know if, if I'm talking to those who have a platform or who have um I don't know if you have multiple children, multiple nieces and nephews, or you just happen to like children or, or something to that nature. Somebody also wants to write a children's book, but I don't feel like it's a children's book. I feel like it's something for children, children with autism that when it comes to colors or coloring or something like that, maybe even like a book for sensations. 
Um, I, and, I, and my apologies, I hope I'm not offending um, anyone who um, is a part of the autism community. Um, I, I think they do have something about sensations like, you know, filling up a paper bag versus um, feeling like a, um, a cotton ball, something like that. Somebody wants to write a book to that nature. Good for you. God is um, saying move forward with that. Um, some, of, some of you want to be able to see children like do um, or go to, sorry, thank you, Spirit, go to like the aquariums again and the and the zoos and like maybe you're wondering how to, um, how you could be supportive in that, in that venture. Some of you may want to um, donate, like some of you are not, I don't feel like a lot of you are all about children, right? I, that's for those who are really trying to, I guess, help or support children because the mass and spirit to move off the children because we're all not looking to, to, to connect with children all the time. Some of you are looking to teach yourselves a new creative expression, right? Maybe a new way, maybe you want to start writing poetry, you want to do painting, you want to start, somebody wants to take photographs, somebody wants to find a, a freedom, to, a, life, a freedom, right? <laughs> An outing, a hobby, something that will connect them either to themselves, to joy, to, to their childlike energy, right? Maybe that's you doing flying a kite on the beach. I don't know. What is this to you that would make you kind of connect back to that childlike nostalgia, that maybe that's why I keep speaking of children, because it may not be children. It may be the child in you. Right. What about that freedom? Maybe I don't know what you did as a kid. I think some of you may have also liked to collect bugs or collect coins or you collect buttons. It's something about that. That was your creative expression. So spirit is also guiding you to get con um, back into connection with the child like you. OK. Soulmate energy is life is tough, but so are you. This is coming back to, like I said, tackling that PTSD of maybe heartache, heartbreak, rejection, letdowns, resentments from the past. Maybe something happened at a party because I have these party streamers twice here for some reason. Spirit's bringing me to that attention. And maybe it's about celebrating yourself for all you've been through as well. Thank you, Spirit. Um, wow. Yeah, I have twin flames. Ying, yang, yin, yang. Thank you, spirit. Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. I have the stabbed in the back, heartache, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. I have girl talk, time with friends, girl or guy talk, okay? Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. And lastly is the photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So maybe you are on a twin flame journey and this was the, the ultimate separation, right? Twin flames are supposed to come together just to have somebody, one or the other, not either answer the call or do something that causes you to, to repel from each other. So at this time, I do think that you are learning from the past of what has taken place, what has taken place. Thank you, spirit. And looking to make new memories in your single energy, living in the moment, having fun, finding out who I am after all that I've been through. Good for you. All right. Uh, your mindful messages up and out to heal the parts of me that feel hurt. I must feel every emotion. It has come up. Wow. It has to come up to come out. Like I said, maybe there's someone you need to speak to to get it out. Um, wow. I don't try to push my feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. All is okay. All that I feel is okay. I hold myself in love through the unsureness, the worry, doubt, anger, fear, anxiety, rejection, or overwhelm. I am thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are very contrast that leads to the higher expansion. Sorry. Doing our best. We are all doing our best with the understanding and awareness we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay, no matter the outcome. I make the best of any situation and learn as I go. I know that's right. And one from Archangel Michael. Wow, Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation. I am here and helping you. All righty, Taurus. Thank you so much. I hope that was able to give you some insight to 2023. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for a personal reading, my information can be found in my bio along with the links to my TikTok and my Etsy shop. All right? Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. All right. Capricorn, let's get to it. So first, starting out with your overall 2023 energy, getting into some healing and life purpose, soulmate and 
love energy and then ending with some spirit guide messages and guidance so first two cards out is time for a nap and buy the book so i feel like um I don't know if this is one if this exact wording is going to resonate for everyone, but it's kind of like what is done is done. I just need to keep calm, right? And just keep it keep moving forward. So maybe you stepped out on faith and quit your job, started a business. You got everything in line though. You got your LLC, you got your business addresses, you got your PO box, you got all your you have all your ducks are in a row and it's like let me just calm down. Like whatever was done was done. Whatever trigger my Capricorns pulled in tw between 2019 and 2022, 2019 and 2022, leading up to even probably the beginning of this year, whatever trigger was pulled, it's now just time to go with the flow and, and it's time to lay these foundations, just do what's next. I just need to calm down, maybe take a nap, disconnect for a minute so I can get level head about it because I feel like whatever's done is done, right? Like the elephants latching on to one another means that they're moving forward right they're normally if i'm not mistaken i think that's when they start to either migrate or when they're going out to look for food or something to that nature but normally when they're latched like that that means it's a journey we're on a journey now right okay the three of cups newsworthy celebrating joyful announcements like engagements weddings pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close close communities or chosen family. The Page of Cups, sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, and moody. Messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. Queen of Swords, brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations. It's like that. Like this, this decision or what's going on, it, it's, it's probably not um, easy, but it's worth it. It's, it's, it's something like that. Focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. And then we have the King of Wands. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision and don't be sensitive to criticism. So I, I'm loving this. First and foremost, there's definitely something to be celebrated. So it's like, finally, girl, or finally, my dude, like, finally, friend, whatever, whoever. <laughs> Sorry. Finally, you took the leap of faith. You started the business. You finally put the, the down payment on the house. You finally popped the question. Whatever that is, it's like finally something is a new emotional experience. It's a new something that you have passion for, something that you love or that you're going to love, something that comes from a heart space, right? Something emotionally fulfilling when I say a heart space. Something that sometimes you look at factually, right? When spirit taps you on your shoulder and ignites your passion for it, right? If this is, I'm hoping this is making sense. I hope you are connecting these dots to whatever this is in your life. Whatever this is that you started, whether that's dating someone new, starting something new, whatever that is, right? We got engagements, weddings, pregnancies, or graduation, something, a time for, you know, newsworthy of celebration. Whatever this new thing is that you're so passionate and excited about, right? An emotional experience. I do feel like you are looking at it factually with the Queen of Swords energy. So it's like I'm not, there's no rose-colored glasses here, right? I know if I, you know, when I started this business that I was going to have mortgage at my home on top of this lease and it's like all these things that I, t I have to take into consideration but the the fact of the matter is that the passion behind it to make this work to see it through to see the big picture of it that's what's fueling you to go forward that's what's fueling you that's like to the point that you get anxiety that's why spirit said okay calm down it's almost like you get you know how you just get so worked up about something the anticipation for something is so high but Spirit is saying, again, I need you to keep it grounded with that Queen of Swords energy, making sure that we're still taking in the facts of what's going on. Okay? All right. Let's get into your healing energy. I have self-sabotage. And I have self-love. So it's almost like the devil and the angel plays on you when you're either thinking about this thing or what 2023 is going to bring, primarily around this large decision. Starting a business, quitting a job, something, something large. OK, um, 
whatever this happens to be, I feel like sometimes I'm ready to just split, let it go, put it in the past. It was a bad decision. Shut everything down. Turn off all the engines. You know what I mean? Let it go. And then when I kind of really start to think about what that means, this self-love of, come on, we've come too far. We've come too long. We've, we've put too much in ourselves. We put too much into this situation. Like there's another level, right? That we have to get to. This can't be the end after all I put into either myself, this relationship, this job, this this prototype, whatever it is, I have to see it through. That's what this self-love is giving. I have to take care of me in the fact of getting it done. And then I feel like the self-love kicks into gear to where you put up the boundaries, you calm yourself down, you might take yourself a hot bath, go for a drive, have a smoke, whatever that is for you. Also, I'm getting the number 24, so you may get 24 or twos and fours throughout this, this year as well. That's also going to be a minute. So when you see 24 or twos and fours, two, two, twos, four, four, fours, that's also a time for you to take care of yourself throughout this year. And you might see 24, 24. 12, 12 as well. But that's going to be moments for you to take a nap, dial into yourself, calm yourself down. Okay. I have leadership. Take charge of this situation. Well, Taurus energy, right? Study, reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. And artists, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. One moment, let me just feel through this. This, whatever you, I, and I know I've, I feel like I'm repeating myself, my apologies. There's also this Mercury retrograde, which I feel like I'm coming up with the same words every time. But anyways, I almost feel like I made a decision already. Something that I studied, something that I had to put in the permits for. I had to get my LLC. Whatever that is that needed to be done was done so that I can put whatever business or spin or whatever this is on my life so that I'm stepping into my life purpose. So maybe some people don't even know that you do this. Writing books, painting at home, making jewelry. Or maybe there's something bigger than that. Maybe you want a to write a... Did I already say write a book? Oh, Jesus. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe there's something more... That I feel like recently you've had a news worthy of celebrating that you've been putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into that's getting ready to catapult what you truly enjoy doing in the in your heart space. Okay. Soulmate energy. Adventure awaits. Go find it. I mean, definitely gonna be something, something beautiful going on here. Let's see what we oh. Okay, so we have the axe, break up, separation, stop the pattern, or silent treatment. I have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Hmm. I have the have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship with the coffee cup, and then soulmates. So partnership, agreement, and so contract. Two different stories. Two different stories. So that's all I got right now is two. One is that you did disconnect from someone who was more watching. Like, I almost feel like this person was always, they never got in the game with you. Does that make sense? It was like, y'all had good times, right? Y'all seemed like a good pair, a good match, a good team. But it was like they were never fully engaged and in the game with you. It could be because they had other options. I really don't want to go down that third party lane. But I almost feel like they still. I don't think this person even knows why they didn't put more energy and effort into it. Um, but wherever they are, I do feel like someone has peace about it. Okay. If, if that's your, if that's your story and if that's your story, I do feel like Cupid's arrow is coming. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Someone, it, you may meet them. I almost feel like you're going out for lunch. You're going to go out with lunch. Something about lunch. Maybe they're going to ask you to go out to lunch. Maybe you're just going to Something about lunch. Either you're going to meet them when you're out grabbing lunch, out with the guys or with the girls for lunch, or this person, you're going to run into them randomly and they're going to ask you if they can go to lunch. Maybe normally you're used to getting dinner dates, right? But this person's going to be like, no, I, I, I want to see you during the, during the daytime. I want to get to know you. Like, yeah. And it's going to it's gonna like, be like, oh, oh, okay. And I feel like that's a soulmate that's coming in to replace definitely that heartbreak energy in the past, okay? The other storyline that I feel... Is that there is someone who you do feel is your soulmate at this time. Someone who you feel like Cupid's arrow did hit you hard. And you were just thinking it was just going to be like a casual coffee, 
you know, how you doing, how I'm doing, how we doing, we're going to get together and, you know, and, and that was it. I don't necessarily know that you started this situation with this connection with this person thinking that it was going to be a soulmate. I think it was going to be like, oh, casual conversation, good times. Maybe we might get together, do a little drive by late night situation. I don't think you were expecting for Cupid's arrow to hit and for it to be someone who feels like a soulmate to you, right? With that situation, not that I feel like there's going to be a true 100% breakup, right? But I do feel like there's a moment of separation for some reason. And I don't, I don't know what that might be. So I, maybe I need to ask for, um, let me get another card out here from this deck. One moment. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out because this person keeps an eye on you, right? I do feel like they're keeping an eye on you. But what's the, the there's a pause. There's a pause or I don't think it's a breakup. So let me see. Go further into this for Capricorn. Spirit, go further into this for Capricorn. Okay, because this person's okay, so this person's still dealing with um, possibly some of their own issues, um, not showing their hand, being strategic options, and then the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to their ego, and not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, right? Fear, fear, and ego issues. There's something about the ego. There's something about commitment and solidifying a relationship or something like that. Like maybe you make more money than them. Maybe you're older than them. Maybe you're more, I'm trying to use other things because I know someone that's in this energy right now, my apologies. But it's like this person almost runs from the connection because they feel like they can't give you all that you want or they don't know if you'll be able to satisfy them, one or the other. And I feel like you already know this. Maybe this person is high sex drive and they don't know if you're going to be able to take on that high sex drive. It could be a couple of different things, but I feel like whatever it is, you already know. You already know that they have an issue with finances because you make more than them. They already know that your sex drive is not where theirs is and they're afraid that you might think that they're going to cheat on you. Okay, whatever that is. But I don't feel like y'all are not going to come back together. Let me get one more card here, but I don't feel like it's not coming. Yeah, because y'all have passion. Insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. So no, I and at the bottom of the deck is, wow, the wedding rings with the paradise. So no, I don't think that if the second story is your story, I do think that y'all have a small pause. But during that pause, I do believe that spirit is going to ask you to, you know, pray for them if they're not willing to have conversation to open up about it. Either way, your prayers will allow them to receive what they need so that they do open up or They'll be able to open up in the beginning and y'all can just get right to the conversation of how you help them heal through that, okay? Mirror, in order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. And I feel like this is more for your person, but it's also for you because y'all are soulmates. Y'all are mirroring of one another. And balance, I surround myself with people I love and enjoy my time with them. But I also take time to nurture my relationship with myself. I have found a healthy balance between being with friends and having self-care time. Ashe. All right. And then Archangel Michael. All is in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. Whatever this by the book energy, whatever you did, whatever you took action on, take rest in knowing that spirit universe is guiding this. The doors are open. Alrighty, my Capricorns, I hope that was able to give you some good insight to 2023. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, to subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I'm posting. And then, of course, if there's anyone in your camp and your family that you know would benefit from a little knowledge and wisdom, be sure to share the video, okay? Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until next time, namaste. All right, Virgo, let's get into it. Starting off with your general 2023 energy, moving into your healing and life purpose. Thank you, sir. Moving after that, we'll go into soulmate and relationship love energy and then end with some guidance and protection from your spirit guides. Let's get into it, Virgo. Ooh. We whoa, talk about death and rebirth. We have the regeneration, which is the tower card. And that was at 555, by the way. 
um, which are changes and the building blocks. So whatever burned down, and I'm hearing burn, baby, burn. You know, um, we don't need no Lord water. Let this boop, 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 burn, right? It's something like that. It's like, I don't, I don't want anything from the past. I don't need anything from the past. Whatever I got going on forward, they ain't even tied to nobody from the past. So I'm I'm hoping I'm channeling my Virgo energy right because y'all are okay. Y'all outside throwing gasoline on the mother. You hear me? It's like, I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm ready to start anew. And this new foundation is going to be something that I own or that I, I did. It's going to be like celebration worthy, if that makes sense. Because these are, you're laying foundations, I guess, maybe you're, whatever that means for you, you could be starting a business or you could just be claiming back your life, right? No more falsehood, no more fugazi people, things of that nature. That's what spirit has been guiding you to do for, I'm hearing about four to five years, it could be six. Three to five, thank you, three to six years, spirit has been trying to weed these people away. Or these thought processes, actions, habits, things of that nature. I Listen. This five of swords energy. And I said five, five, five was on the clock. An unwise decision. Decision. Goodness. Why am I saying decision and it's a choice? So you had a choice and you made a decision. And I feel like, again, for three to five or three to six years, there were some not nice people around you. Um, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. These are the people who needed to leave. Whoever it is, I don't tie, give a title where you want to give a title. At the end of the day, I feel like spirit has been asking you to let these people go. Um, decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected, unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. I feel like somebody might, it was like the last straw. Maybe this last time they got flipped with you, this last time they didn't pay you your money, this last time they promised you a promotion, didn't give it to you, whatever it was this last time, you had had enough of the shit. And I feel like, you know how some people can be, they call it nice nasty. It's like you can, you can, you can read somebody for filth, but you don't got to use no cuss words. It was like that. Like, and I'm real sick and tired of who you are in and around me. You've been a snake and a swindle. And I'm going to go ahead and just let you go on with God. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Don't think about me. We're done. Understood? Good. Goodbye. Like, it was very to the point. Um, but I feel like this that's where the wise counselor has been trying to give you that insight. Unity with spiritual-minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Um, this is kind of making me feel like maybe, like I said, spirit's been trying to get your attention. Maybe I'm channeling those who, who maybe two, three years ago, you would not have even talked about or thought about tarot. And now you find yourself getting some real good knowledge from tarot readings. It's almost like I, maybe you stuck to these friends, family being, because I keep bringing up titles. I stuck to these family and friends or these people because they're my childhood friends. They're my cousins. They're my this, they're my that. And spirit is saying, yeah, but let's really think about what a soul tribe is versus what your human family is. And maybe somebody's starting to say like, yeah, blood you can't choose, right? But I'm telling you, sometimes that water be thicker than that blood. It's something like that. King of Cups, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So maybe y'all have. Maybe that's another un quote unquote unorthodox thing, maybe in your community, People don't really go and get mental health checks, things like that. But you find yourself growing, understanding your emotions, King of Cups, knowing when to get emotional and when to not, knowing how to balance that out. So if you have, congratulations to you. But I also want to say that you find at least a happy and safe space for you to be able to grow and build your life again as well. Congratulations to you. All right, Virgo, let's get into the healing energy. So discover your life purpose. Love that entrapment and soulmate so whatever you thought you were entrapped with these people you may have also felt stagnant around this old ga gathering of friends i want to say i don't know this old community um or people this five of swords energy you may have felt trapped or sluggish or 
Again, like blessings were delayed around these old people. Right now, you're becoming in alignment, not only with your life's purpose, but with the soulmate that you'll be living a life with. 1101 on the clock when I just said that. So 111, you'll be seeing that a lot in 2023. You're coming in alignment with what's really going to make you happy. And while you're doing what you're doing, that's when your person's going to take, take, a, take a look at you or you look at them, something like that. So if you're a performer in any way, it could be while you're performing. But whatever it is, it's just while you're carrying on, just kind of living this life that you know that you're building for yourself, your soulmate's going to come this year. Mm -hmm. It could be anywhere from spring to winter time. Not right now, winter time, end of 2023, winter time. Okay. Energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part to your life purpose. Career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. And options. Co consider the career possibilities that are open to you. Well, I guess that just kind of confirms itself. Definitely about the energy healing and clearing out of these people and places and things that have been siphoning your energy from you. I think you're starting to learn what that means to just take a moment to breathe, whether that's meditation, yoga, whatever it is, or just taking a walk, taking a drive, right? But there's clearly some career options that you're looking at. And again, with that boss up energy, that could be, I'm going to work this job for five to seven years. While I'm doing that, I'm going to do some res residual income on Amazon. Think about opening up an Airbnb. It's like a couple of different things because I'm seeing different lines of finances coming in for you. Good job. Go ahead. All right, let's do that soulmate. Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your song, and enjoy the dance. So it's time for you to enjoy. Like, I don't know if you've had a lot of dreary moments over 2022, but it's time for all of that to be cleared up and for the sun to shine again, okay? Whew, we got that chaser energy. So people from your past, fear of abandonment, people who have abandonment issues, maybe trying to talk, but I, I will say this, just be mindful of who you tell what about your new endeavor, endeavors. Everyone's not for you. And you'll know by their body language, their tone. When you tell them something good happened, you'll know by their tone or their body language. Not always their eyes. This person may not have shifty eyes. They may be used to holding their eyes because they might, somebody who used to get in trouble a lot. I don't know. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Wow. That along with the welcoming love, heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and it's going to be perfect. This is going to be someone who you can have a stable, secure environment with. Someone who's going to be flexible to learn who you are and have endurance to reach that lifetime goal. So, I don't know if that's a person, one particular lover in the past. It's really given me more people who you have to let go. You have, you've grown beyond. Okay. Let's get into your mindfulness. Um, inspiration board. Huh. Like I said, multiple avenues of things you want to do. So it's time for your vision board. If I am ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. And water my dreams. All I desire, wow, all I, all I desire is on its way to me. But like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and de determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at the perfect time. That is wonderful. Again, with that green energy, beautiful, heart energy, emotions. Um, wow, and welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on its way. Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. Well, go on, Virgo. You go ahead and claim that in 2023. Some of y'all may be 37 as well. Um, so thank y'all so much. I hope that this uh, message was able to give you some insight and inspiration into your 2023 journey. Thank y'all for allowing me to be a part of it. If you do, if any of this happened to resonate with you, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. And by chance, if one or other of your family members or soul tribe could benefit from some information, go ahead and share the video with them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok and stop by my Etsy shop. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Namaste.